Assalamualaikum. Today our group will present about the precision farming on padi. So, I'm Muhammad Ali Hanafiya bin Muhammad Tahir. We'll explain about the introduction. As we all know that rice is one of the most important food crop and the staple food is over 60% in the world population. Further, the population of rice-consuming countries are growing continuously and it is estimated that it is needed to produce 40 times more rice in 2030. So, the precision agriculture can be considered as doing the right thing at the right place at, at the right time. There has been a considerable amount of precision agriculture work conducted in the rice industry. In particular, it consists of aerial crop imaging, soil pitch controller, and the variable red seed planting. So, next is the GPS, and the GPS will be explained by my friends. Hi guys, today I will explain about the global positioning system, that's uh, GPS. GPS was conceived as a ranging system from non-position of satellites in space to unknown position on land, sea, in air and space. The GPS constellation consists of 24 satellites and, and in 6 orbital planes uh, with 4 satellites in each plane. One solution is that a single operator to control a number of machines in several scattered fields. This is possible if automated control systems are utilized. The goal of this research project is to achieve autonomous rice uh, production in paddy fields. Use GPS to measure the vehicle position and have use inertia measurement unit to sense the vehicle direction and tilt. This is the example use of uh, GPS in the paddy field. Uh, that's called a rice transplanter. It's a specialized uh, transplanter fitted to transplant rice seedling onto paddy field. Mainly there are two types of rice transplanter. Uh, one is the riding type and second is the walking type. For the modification are made to the rice transplanter for the automation task. The modification of a transplanter are, such as a gear DC motor is attached to the steering system and absolute rotary encoder is connected to the steering to sense the steering angle. Go. Okay, now I will explain further about the uh, geographic information system for the GIS system uh, its a uh, geographic information system allows the user to examine and visualize a relationship of the characteristic on the field such as soil properties type of crop uh, waterway the irrigation or coordinate or latitude and longitude The function of this GIS system is to establish a database of road administration containing re relevant attribute information that are required in various mapping related application. Multi temporal data was used to assist in process of selection suitable imagery data for the classification. Visual interpretation on image for wet paddy in planted season are different from harvest season. In planted season, wet paddy need lots of water, while in harvest season, wet paddy is in dry condition. The selection of image during the planted season are important to classify the paddy area. Okay. This is the example of the GIS system in the paddy field. As you can see in the image, uh, the characteristic that shows follows the color such as for the soil type uh, the yellow for the uh, water system for, uh, is the blue one uh, so, salam
welcome to all my friends. My name is Charlie and I will talk about sensor technologies. The sensor itself is uh, referring to the art and size of recording, measuring and analytic information about the phenomenon from a distance. For example, us humans have the sensor organs such as eye, ear, nose and tongue. And in order to study large area of Earth's surface, geographers use the device known as remote sensor. The specific use of sensor technology in farm operation are as follows. For example, to sense the soil characteristics such as the texture of the soil, the structure of soil, the physical characteristics of soil, the humidity, the nutrient level and also the presence of clay in the soil. And the sense color is to determine or and to understand the condition condition related to the plant for example uh, plant that have nutrient deficiency might have a different color of leaf and plant that dies will have a different color on its uh, body itself and second one is a uh, third one is the monitoring yield which is the crop yield and crop humidity in this term the sensor can be used to uh, to measure the crop humidity itself for example, make like we can we can measure the humidity uh, of the environment for the crop. And next is the example of sensor technology. And this is the example of sensor technology. The first one is to measure the soil pH from the paddy field. And we use the tools in order to measure the pH and then. We can make the decision making in order to increase the soil pH or not based on the result. And the second one is the drone. The drone itself is a optical sensor that used to detect insect in farm field by the researcher in India. Yeah. Next is variable rate technology. Variable rate technology refers to the technology that used to enable the variable rate application of material in precision agriculture. Variable rate application or VRA in precision agriculture is an area of technology that focus on automated application of materials to a given landscape, which means we use a machine to, uh, to scatter or to distribute the uh, materials such as seedling, or fertilizer to the field based on the rate that set by us or set by the sensor itself. The way in which the material are applied is based on the data that is collected by sensor, map, or GPS. This material include things like fertilizer, chemicals, and seed, and they are help optimize one crop of production. And this is the example of variable rate technology in PD. The first one is the transplanting PD with which is using the machine itself. The rest of planting is a BRT used to transplant penny seedling based on adjusted distance and amount, which is the seedling will be uh, uniformly transplanted into field into the field by using this kind of machine. And the another another example of BRT is uh, implementation of BRT on fertilizer application machine which is the fertilizer are uh, distributed to the field by using the machine itself and the machine uh, that is already set a certain amount of uh, fertilizer for a certain distance and that's all for me Assalamualaikum and very good evening to our lecturers Shashair bin Abdul Aziz My name is Muhammad Azrul Nizam bin Natanang Today I will explain about the objective of crop management for precision farming. The first objective is to determine management zone to be applied with precision farming system. This the objective is to help the farmers to to, est to estimate the yield for a certain period of time to control the pest and disease attack to, to estimate the time for fertilizer and pesticide application next objective is establish yield goal this can help the farmers to estimate the yield 
for for a month for a month so it is it easy for them to estimate the cost in the profit other than that it can help to carry out soil sampling and data interpretation after that the another objective is make decision regarding management regarding management of land preparation variety fertilizer and other nutrients to achieve your goal this can help the farmers to <coughs> to know the nutrient deficiency on the on the plantation so it can help them to to apply the fertilizer at the right amount besides the another objective is to establish met to discover the pest population insect disease and with using an integrated pest management IPM approach this can help them to control pest population and disease attack on the farm apply precision irrigation is the objective also the objective of the crop management for precision farming and the last is to monitor and establish yield map evaluate precision farming system response and identify the strength and weakness for future improvement okay next i will explain about site specific crop management as you know, site-specific crop management is a farming management concept which is a base upon observing, measuring, and responding to inter- or intra-field variability in crop. This is a differential action in response to special variability farming operation such as sowing red, fertilizer, pesticide and lime application tillage and water use can be varied in real time across the field variation in treatment correspondent to the map variation in the field attribute measure Spe set specific management the different area of the same field might have different characteristics which lead to the needs of different treatment so, the conclusion is precision agriculture, also called farming by the food, can be defined as a comprehensive, comprehensive system uh, designed to optimize the agriculture product through the application of crop information, advanced technology, and the man management practices. The yield gap can be narrowed to improve sustainable rice production, fruit security, and the socio-economic well-being of rice grower throughout the world. Implementation, the precision farming and paddy cultivation able to improve the cultivation efficiency and reducing the human error. Thank you.